Hi guys. So we're ready to code some words today and we worked on the letter Y today. So right from looking at my first word, I can look at that and I say, I know that as a C, V, C word. So I automatically know that vowel is going to be short. Very good. So I'm going to give it that breathe on top and I could sound it out and say, y, e, s. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I can look and say that's a C, V, C word again. So I'm going to make that vowel short and I would say, y, am, yam. So yes and yam. Look at this word. You guys know this word. It's I by itself. It doesn't have anything behind it. So we know it's going to say its name and be long. So I, and then this word's a little bit longer. What do you notice about it though? It's got that ed suffix. So I need to block that off. What else? It's got that double consonant, so I can cross one of them off. So I just say, P. what else? It's an A is my vowel. It's right in front of a consonant, so it's going to be short. Okay. All right. And then that CL, I know I can blend that together and say, cool. Okay. So, cool, app, clap. And then we added that ed at the end, clap. So this ED, listen, clapped, sounds like the T at the end. Very good. So I clapped. All right, let's look at this next word. Let's find my vowels, okay? I have a vowel here, and I have a vowel here, and that vowel is an E. So I know this is going to be an E consonant E word. So that means that this last E is silent. And my other E is long, so it's going to say its name. And then I also see something else. I see the TH, which I know is our digraph. And it's going to say th. So th, ease, th, th, th. That's that vibration, th. So I also need to what? Put the line through it. Th, ease, these. All right, so we have the word these. And then what else do we have? On this word, I see that I have ing, so I'm going to box off that suffix. What else do I have? My vowel is in front of an n, and I know n is a consonant, so it's going to be short. And that st, I know I can blend together and say st. So I have st, ink, stink. And then remember the ing says ing, so stinking. So these stinking, and let's see what's at the end. What's my suffix? My suffix is S. Very good. So I'm going to box it off. And then what else do I have? I have that CK digraph. So I'm going to underline it so I know it goes together. But then also I'm not going to say K. -k. So I'm going to cross off that C. So we just make the K sound. And my O is in front of a C. So I know it's going to be short. Because no matter what, a vowel in front of that CK is going to be short. So now I have S. Ox. Socks. So these stinking socks. Very good. All right. Now down at the bottom, we have our con or our contraction. So I'm just going to circle it because I know it doesn't follow a rule. I just have to read that word. And this word is don't. And then our next word, I have what? A double L so I can cross one of them off. I have a vowel that's in front of a consonant. So I know it's going to be short. So now I can sound out and say y, l, yell. So don't yell. You guys know this word, but we're still going to code it. So we have a vowel is a. It's right in front of the consonant, so that means it's going to be closed and it's going to be short. So at, at. So don't yell at. All right, this word's a little bit longer. So let's see. Well, right off the bat, I see a double l at the end. So I know I can cross that off. I don't have to worry about that. Where are my vowels? I have a vowel right here, and I have a vowel right there. And so let's check. I have an X. X is a consonant. I have a W. That's a consonant. So I see that vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. So I can divide that word right there. All right. So now my vowel is A. It's in front of a consonant, so I know it's going to be short. And I can say mm max. And then I have my vowel is E. It's in front of an L, so I know it's going to be short w, L, well. 
Maxwell. Maxwell, so it's a name. Don't yell at Maxwell. So let's read these one more time. I have yes, yam, I clapped, these stinking socks, and don't yell at Maxwell. All right, you guys did an awesome job coding. Thanks, guys.